How's everyone doing tonight? PS5, yes, we got the PS5 giveaway right there. ChevyDudeStore.com is how you get your entries. Figured I'd put it up here on the screen. All right. Uh, if you guys want to get questions in, you can super chat them in or text them to that number right there. Mrs. Chevy Dude is going to fire the questions away. I so, am. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, probably the biggest question is people have questions on 2021 Corvette. Have we ever talked about 2021 on a live stream before? Yeah. Oh, have we? When we announced the updates for the 2021. Oh, okay. I can't remember. It's been so it's a long. a good thing I can hear you outside of the earbuds because we'd have a real problem. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's really weird. What about now? Can there you hear you, me? There you go. Oh, I turned that volume knob. There we go. Now you're really Weird. loud. Weird. Update system audio. You're too loud. I'm too loud. In broadcast. <laughs> in this, oh, wait. Install later. I'm too loud. What about now? A little bit more. Down now? Down? No. Up. Up. Right there? No. Down. <laughs> oh, my goodness <laughs> you're going gracious. Too, you're just going too far. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's kind of like when I say go to a little to the left and you go a foot to the left. Yes. How does gap work? I don't know how to... Oh, how does gap work? Uh, I just saw Lewis says, how, do, how does gap work? I just did this gap video. So if you go back and watch the video, I can show a better demonstration on, on how it works. But Not enough people watched it. I know. That's, that's my fault, though. Um, so in a nutshell, <clears throat> you have a uh, dollar amount that you financed. And over time, you pay your car off. It's typically a straight and narrow level down in your car dips down over time. So if you owe this much money on your vehicle and your payoff, or excuse me, if your payoff is this much money on your vehicle and your vehicle's worth this, everything in between here is your responsibility. So if you have gap insurance, that's what gap takes care of. And if you don't put 20% down, you definitely 100% need gap insurance. <clears throat> so it's definitely, definitely worth it. Fisher family life. Yes. Fisher Hi, family, Peyton. Peyton. Yes, <laughs> we got a we got a video coming up with him being involved soon. I got to finish editing it or ed uh, shooting it. I haven't shot the rest of it. Yeah, <clears throat> got a lot Lazy. of it shot, but we need to. We still need to. Lazy bum. Some, oh my goodness gracious, Tesla guy. There's a Tesla guy in here. All right, you guys, see any questions you want to ask? Ask away. Oh, are you, are you ready for questions? Yeah, let me move that over there. Okay, well, we're going to go with the one that was text to the number earlier. Okay. And this person wants to know, on a C8 order, what are the odds of getting your exact specs versus having to make changes based on Chevy's availability, as in constraints? Constraints, right. Yeah, so um, I don't think there's going to be any issues. The first week of orders, zero issues, zero constraints. We are able to order coupe. We we're able to order convertible. We we're able to order every single color, every single option that is available for 2021. So yes, um, we are going to have um, some constraints on, or we have some options that are not available from last year. The uh, 5VM exposed carbon fiber ground effects, which is what I have on my vehicle, and um, and then also uh, the high wing spoiler. So those aren't available for 2021, but. Um, but the rest of the rest of the options that are available in 2021 are available immediately with no issues. Uh, Tony said, "Get gap insurance through Credit Union Bank." So if, if you don't finance with your credit union, you can't get gap insurance through them. So typically, most people don't sell gap insurance. Um, just say, "Oh yeah, here's the gap insurance. We're going to take 100% of the risk in the event that you have a total loss and you owe more than what you have." Now, if you if your lender will give you gap insurance, yes, you can buy it. And then you have to buy it at the time of, of uh, purchasing, purchasing the, car. the car. You can't come back three months later or two days later and say, hey, listen, I want to buy gap insurance. And um, uh, one thing I didn't mention about gap insurance, and it's extremely important, is if you have gap insurance through your car company, that is considered a claim. And I forgot to put that in the video. I don't know how I forgot to put that in the video. I don't know if the if I shot it and didn't do it or whatever the case may be, but um, you never talked about it with me. No, I didn't. You sitting over at the table. We didn't do it. I nope. must completely forgot about them. So that can be considered a claim if you have to file gap insurance. So that means you get dinged for two claims 
when you have a total loss. So how much the new Corvette cost? Uh, Peyton ask. Um, <clears throat> so uh, they start at sixty four nine ninety five, right? Fifty nine fifty nine ninety five. I was me. gonna say they Jeez. didn't raise prices no, yet. They didn't. So um, yet being the keyword. Oops. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, fifty nine nine ninety five, and uh, the convertible is seven thousand dollars more base price, and you can get that car if you know. So that's one thing. Like, you know, we're gonna do a video on this down the road, but you know, Tesla, if you want to order a base price Tesla, good luck. You're gonna be two, three, four years down the road. Chevrolet says, hey, listen, if you want to order a base car, order a base car, just get it. You're good to go. So, uh, so that's kind of nice that they uh, do that. I do that. Couldn't remember how I did that. There we go. It's been a long time since we screamed. Um, convertible or Corvette, which one will hold resale value better, Lou said. I don't think either one of them will be bad. Um, the convertible does have more headroom. So a guy like me, six foot three, or uh, if you're wearing a helmet, uh, you know, it's nice to have that extra headroom and the um, um, back here because you don't have the halo bar i wouldn't know i'm you sure know. you're four foot three. i don't have to worry about so four foot three i am not no <laughs> miniature elf i mean jeez that was so rude <laughs> oh well and thumbs, you just keep laughing thumbs up me for rude would you <laughs> oh my god you're so uh. people love our banter and if i can say something to you that's that's makes you like oh my god it's you know, so Our, be it. Doesn't mean be rude to me. Being, being you've been called out for being rude to me on videos. And we and we weren't rude, <laughs> exactly. right? I, if they could only see before and after we we shoot that scene, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like you know anything media puts out there. You don't know the whole story because they're not showing you everything. It's right, just right. all edited footage. Yep. Yeah. So Gary four foot six. So Gary, yeah, four foot six. I love it. Uh, yeah, Gary said Gap is dirt cheap through your insurance company, and it can be. But when you look at it, it's about the same price if you buy it from a dealership or from uh, the insurance company. So, like I said um, in the video the other day, so the the issues that you have with um, Gap insurance through your insurance company, sometimes they only offer it for. A period of time. They don't offer it for the entire loan length. Um, they only offer it on certain age vehicles and they only offer it. Um, they don't, they don't pay your negative equity. And like I said earlier, uh, it could, it could be considered a claim. So um, if you have a, a no fault accident, now you're going to get dinged because you got to have a gap claim. If you are at fault, now you're getting dinged twice for two insurance claims. I learned this the hard way, right? So uh, Liberty Mutual, uh, when we switched insurance back in 2013, I switched to Liberty Mutual and they're like, oh, get this cell phone coverage, blah, 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 blah. And the very first question I asked them, if I make a claim on this, does it count against me for insurance? Well, it did. I made a claim on it. I wouldn't have made a claim on it, but I had it. I, I paid $20 a year for it, right? 20 bucks a year. And it covered every piece of mobile device on our iPads or our cell phones. And I had three younger kids at the time and we know how kids are with cell phones. So I went ahead and did it. And my youngest daughter broke her cell phone. We got a brand new one, for, you know, and they she paid didn't me. didn't really break it. Yeah. Somebody else did. Right. But, um, <laughs> you know, it was a $475 claim. It wasn't that much money, but I'm like, sweet, I'll just get her new phone. And I did that. And then my insurance raised and I called him and I said, Hey, why'd my insurance raise? Well, you had a claim this year. I'm like, what? No, I didn't. Yeah. On your cell phone. I'm like what? And my insurance raised way more than that cell phone cost. So I dropped him immediately and went to a different company. So, so th that's the things you got to worry about. Um, I like this question. How much profit is built in to the invoice price? Um, it depends on the car. So I showed, did I show a, oh, I showed a trailblazer. Did I not? It had like $12 a profit or something like that. Um, the, the, it L, was the, the L series, L, the L series, the very base trailblazer right. that it had, is like super it had, cheap. it had $12. And then we had, you have to go back to the trailblazer video, but, um, um, I think it had like three or $400 of holdback. And then like a Corvette has got somewhere right around, eight, nine grand. 
um, including hold back and everything like that. So uh, every vehicle is different, obviously. Um, <clears throat> every, everything, the more expensive the vehicle is, the more profit there is and whatnot. So, yeah, so it's it's $12 to 8 or 9 grand. So yeah. Lamborghini, Ferrari, you're, you're looking at $75,000, um, I know a friend who sold a Rolls Royce that made $100,000 on that car, and she got paid 30%. On that hundred thousand dollars, and that was Canadian dollars, so you know it's like a nickel, right? So <laughs> exactly, but, but still, she gets paid on that. Hey. Uh, what percentage of your twenty twenty one C A allocations are you getting for the first three months, or whatever? <clears throat> so sorry, did I cut you off? Well, you missed a super chat. Oh, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna okay, get to it. okay. So you know, just gotta make sure because the the feed goes really quick. I know. So uh, Dominique asked this question you see on the screen here, and uh, in a nutshell. Uh, what happened is we get 15 in November, we get eight in December, and we get eight in January. So we get 31 total uh, for the first three months. So basically it rounds out at 10 per month, basically. So that's where we're at. And that every single dealership in the country got that notification. Every single dealership uh, got us that information. And um, unfortunately, I had a customer tell me this, and I had to, I had to look a little bit more. <clears throat> Our GM rep didn't tell us this. And I look at this stuff every single day and don't like surprises. And when a customer calls me and says, well, uh, this was all over the forum that you got three months, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no. And I happened to be in sales manager's office. And uh, I'm like, no, we didn't get that. And sales manager heard and he looked up <clears throat> and he's like, oh, yeah, I found it. Like, oops. Okay. So Johnny says uh, I should twin turbo the C8. I'm thinking about it, you know, I want to twin turbo, but I haven't done it yet because um, I've been very fortunate to be behind the scenes in a lot of these twin turbo builds, Street Speed 717s, Amelia's, Eric's um, with street, complete street performance. I was going to say, um, we're waiting on Andrew, Andrew to get with his with complete figured street out. performance, Alex Pites with Pites performance down in Texas. So I've been involved with a lot of these twin turbo builds, and I know – what's going on behind the scenes and my car is a daily driver. So I haven't wanted to twin turbo it yet. I want to wait, but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, I'm waiting for a uh, pro charger to show their cars and do their stuff. So I'm really excited to see that too. So maybe, um, maybe we'll go pro charger instead and be one of the first pro charge cars, um, out there. So it's interesting. Uh, here's an interesting question. Would you show dealer invoice if the customer was willing to give 3% above? Oh, hell yeah. All day long. <laughs> we lose money on every car. But so depending on the dealership, you're there. Yeah, most yeah, of the true. time you're already selling an invoice, correct? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That or way below, right? So so you're actually, by offering 3% more, <laughs> yeah, giving I, the dealership more money than what they're asking. <laughs> right, right. I always chuckle a little bit when <clears throat> it comes to people like, um, yeah, uh, show me the invoice, right? Show me the invoice is so eighties and nineties. Now in 2020, the invoice really doesn't matter. Oh, my login still works for global connect. That's good. <clears throat> so, um, so yeah, so the whole invoice thing is kind of, is kind of goofy. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of see if I can pull up an example here. Um, and, and show you, I want to, I want to do a vehicle with no rebates. Let's do a Tahoe. I don't know how we have Tahoe's done. So Tahoe, all right, doesn't want to work. You're taking too long. I know, computers, computers uh, going slow. What are you uh, wanting to show here? Uh, I was going to pull up an actual invoice compared to what we're selling it for. I actually shouldn't use a Tahoe. I should use a... I was going to say. I should use a... Uh, Everything's got rebates. It kind of gets confusing when it gets rebates. Let me use let me use trail let me use Trailblazer since we mentioned Trailblazer earlier. Um, so Trailblazer. So we'll do this active one. I sold one just like this the other day. Love the active. Oh no, active Spark. I sold an active Spark, not Trailblazer. Um, <clears throat> so invoice on this bad boy is. 26180, that's 310, so that's before hold back in advertising. So 25022, 25022, remember those numbers, please, because I'm going to forget, I promise you. I already you. forgot them. 25022. Um, <laughs> 25022? Yep, 25022 <laughs> is how much is how much the invoice is 
minus hold back advertising, everything, right? And what they call in the business triple net, triple net. So um, I'm gonna go to our website and I'm using stock number 9122. It's a four wheel drive or a front wheel drive active. Um, 25022 was yep. the number. There is a 750 rebate. 750 plus a $500 rebate currently right now. So there's $1,250 in rebates and we're selling it at 24240. So uh, we're about $500 over triple net invoice. So when a dealer says, yeah, I'll sell it to you for three. Yeah. You, I'll, 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 I'll sell it for 3% over invoice. They're not going to go to triple net invoice. They're going to go to invoice, which is 26, 180. So times 0.3% is 26, 9, 965. Uh, MSRP on this car is 26, 740. So that means you're paying $225 over MSRP for that car. If you pay 3% in, over invoice. So that's why, you know, that's why I wanted to take a little bit of time to kind of go through it because that I can do on a live stream where I can't really go in to kind of show people and talk to people on what it is on, on, on a recorded video because I'm, I'm just so strapped for time and engagement and everything like that. So. Okay. Well, we've had a couple of super chats come in. Rodney, thank you. And then Devin's like, when will the truck giveaway drop? So, so if got to get our numbers so, up, so people, people on YouTube really don't know this. This is a, this has been a TikTok thing. So for people on, on YouTube, I got on TikTok during quarantine. I don't know what the hell I was doing. I got on there driving me nuts, driving her nuts. It's doing a really good job of that. And, um, uh, next thing you know, I got shy of half a million subscribers on TikTok. So, so I went out to TikTok and I waited and waited and waited for a proper opportunity. And I said, you know what, TikTok, if you want my truck, um, make, get me to 500,000 subscribers. And so I told, I, I told everybody, once I get to 500,000 subscribers, I will do a giveaway, um, on my 1995 OBS K 1500 truck. And I'll make sure it's in good working order. There's going to be issues. I'll put new tires on it. You know, it's going to make sure I put new brakes on it when I got it. So the brakes are fine. Uh, we'll do a once over. We'll do an oil change. We'll make sure that it's detailed. We'll make sure things perfect um, for someone. So once I get to 500,000 subscribers, we'll give that out. And the reason I chose 500,000 is because it's a win-win situation. It's a win-win for for you guys, the viewers, and it's a win-win for me as well. So it's it's a win for me because I get the half million subscribers and I get the content and I get the viewership and I get the revenue and stuff like that. And it's an incentive for you guys to follow me more, follow me longer, and subscribe and hit that bell notification and all that stuff. So it's it's good for everyone. And I what think about me? It's good for you too. It is. So so um but I think I think it's it's a good two-way street. It's not saying, Hey, give me to a million and I'm 700,000 away. Right. So, um, I've been, I've been gaining a thousand subs every single day. So we're talking, we're talking only a few months to get to 500,000 subscribers. If everybody hits the subscribe button, tells their friends and all that good stuff. So Rodney, yes. Thank you for the super sticker. Um, smiling face with sunglasses is what he sent me. I had to go back up and find that. Um, okay. Well, we've had, of so course, everything so, keeps going through. Yeah, here Bob Bob asked me, uh, are you going to get a replacement truck? Yes, I have uh, come to a custom uh, with the truck of having it around and just, you know, like this table that we're sitting on. Um, we got that with the truck, you know, our, our kid's bedroom and other things we've gotten with the truck. We got to use the tree. truck tomorrow. Yep. So I, I definitely want a truck in my life. Um, so it's tough for me. To, it's tough for me to give this truck up. Like this is a cheap truck to me, right? In order for me to replace this, I'm going to have to go out and spend... 30 or 40 grand. So, so you're the, not going to spend 30 or 40 it, grand, but is it worth it to spend 25 for a hundred thousand mile truck? You know, no, I'm saying you're not going to spend oh, that yeah. cheap. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stupid. Yeah. You're not going to go that cheap. <laughs> no, I mean, really? If, if I, if I do it, I'll just buy a dually. As you long know? as I get a vehicle before you do. Right. We're good. Right. I'm with you. I'm with you. <laughs> and, on the same lines, Bob asked, will you give your C, uh, sorry, I can't even talk, C8. 
Are you going to give the C8 away one day? Oh my goodness gracious. He's asking tough questions, Bob. So that's the intention. I want to give it away. So um, we'll, we'll see. Um, I was hoping to have a little bit bigger. <laughs> the dog's over here. Do you want to be on YouTube? So the dog's over there trying to paw her and say, hey, come see me. You want to be on YouTube? <laughs> huh? Here, let say me get hi. The, let me get this off. <laughs> say hi. That's our boxer, Corey. You got to look at that camera. Yeah, you're looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> She was over in my lap earlier. So um, that was the intentions. I, I wanted to see uh, the channel do a little bit better this year. Um, but, you know, thanks, COVID. That's all I can say. So, and, you know, it is what it is. <clears throat> okay. So I got another super chat that came in. Um, Talat, 804. Are there any specific, uh, specific uh, are there any specialty <laughs> performance models coming in the near future? I'd love to have a performance version of the Sonic, but that's discontinued. Um, I don't think so. Um, you know, I'd like to see, I was thinking about doing a video on this. Um, I'd love to see, um, a SS trailblazer V8 Corvette engine. But you know, you know, Chevy has been very vocal about switching over to electric. Yep. So yep. you're really probably not going to see too many performance models anymore i know yeah that's that's I mean, top, topic of conversation think thomas thank you for the ch super chat eventually you have to realize that electric can be considered you know a performance model because yep. that instant torque on an electric car oh, i love it it's you know it's just as fun as trying to drive the c8 and build up torque yeah yeah <laughs> see the dog on camera on the bottom screen she's she's like why are you guys not paying attention to me you guys are sitting in here again no she likes being on youtube <laughs> oh my goodness gracious silly dogs these dogs are so spoiled so spoiled uh yanko yeah yanko's uh yanko is a is a is a company like you know is, is just a company right they're just they're just building cars kind of like complete street performance builds cars so they're just a company that does it. They obviously have a big name from their following. Um, and, uh, yeah, absolutely. So it's, it's, it's amazing. And I did, somebody said I didn't give a uh, uh, reaction to the hundred dollars. I did. I appreciate, I appreciate oh, it. So, I didn't see that. I, so yeah, you didn't see it, but Thomas, Thomas did. And yes, he said, thanks. Appreciate he also that. said, thanks for all, for all you tell us. So no, I, I appreciate it. It means a lot. So. Um, um, our Tesla guy in here keeps asking the differences between the trim levels on the C8. Yes. Yeah, so because, you know, Tesla doesn't have trim levels. Right. So I'll so, be right back. So, okay. So there's three, there's three trim levels to the C8. There's a one LT, two LT, three LT. So in a nutshell, the differences are just interior features with the exception of, um, the forward facing cameras on the two and three LT. So, um, when you go to two LT, you get about 15 different things. I'm going to try to pull them up here cause I can't remember them all. So it's forward facing cameras. It's bows, it's navigation, performance data recorder, heated seats, air conditioned seats. Um, Corbett. Now let's see seven cargo net cargo. Uh, I was getting ready to say cargo shade. There's no cargo shade on the 20 Corvette. Uh, the cargo net, uh, for the back and for the front. Um, so memory seats on both sides. Uh, I got my list up here. Heads up display, power lumbar and adjustable wings, wireless charging, heated steering wheel. I said navigation, said performance data recorder, one year XM radio, universal home remote on the sun visor, power folding mirrors. Oh yeah. Digital rear view mirror. That's absolutely awesome. Um, curb view camera. I said that. Oh, side blind zone, side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert, and then upgraded anti theft deterrent system. So when you go to three LT, there's only one reason to go to a three LT and that's that you want the custom leather colors that come in that vehicle. So you get GT two seat standard on a three LT. So it's an option to two LT three, um, standard and a three LT. It's a $1,500 option on a two LT. So not necessarily need them. Um, then you get custom leather wrapped interior. So it's an upgraded leather interior on everything, the dash, the steering wheel, um, down where your shifter is, the door panels, everything's upgraded. Um, you have suede upper, uh, suede upper wrapped trim. So that's your A pillar, everything on the top, uh, coming down your other A pillar. And then on your B pillar, 
as well. There's no suede on the seats. There's no suede on the steering wheel. There's no suede on the center console. It's just literally up right here. And then, um, and then you have uh, leather wrapped lower doors as well. So that's, th that's what you get between those three trims. That's kind of like in a, in a nutshell, <clears throat> Kenneth, Kind of thanks for the super chat. Hope Chevy updates interiors and trucks. I kind of agree with you and kind of disagree. It's kind of a, I'm kind of 50, 50 on it. Right. So it's kind of maybe the old school of me, which I'm not old school very much. What do you think about the interior of the trucks? I haven't been in a truck. You haven't been in a truck. No, you've had me in the Tahoe, yeah. but I have not been in a truck at all. Okay. Well, maybe we need to get your opinion on trucks. Maybe we need to do a video on that. Maybe. I mean, I couldn't even tell you the last time I drove a truck. You drove my truck. Yeah, I don't like driving your truck. <laughs> <laughs> I've become accustomed to technology and, <laughs> you know, it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm spoiled now. Okay, so we have another super chat. And then, um, so, yeah, so I'm, sp I'm split on the 50-50 on the truck. So, um I love I love what Ford and Ram do because I'm a technology nut, right? I, I love the upgraded stuff, but at the same time, Chevy says that their people like it. And the customers that I sell, listen, the customers that I sell, it's the only thing I can go off of. I can't go off of the internet. I can't go off of someone's opinion, even though I, I read those opinions and watch those opinions and listen to those opinions. But the cars that people are actually spending money on, my customers, they don't want the technology. It's cra it's crazy. They're like, it's too it's too complicated. So, uh, Mike, thanks for the super chat. I was bumped to 21. Anyway, my dealership said I could use my GM discount on the 20. Oh, you couldn't use it. Yeah. I was like, what? You couldn't use my GM discount on the 20. Well, I'll be able to use it on the 21. Nope. Sure won't. And I don't anticipate GM because that's a GM thing. That's not a dealership level thing. So GM has not given us uh, GMS on 21s that I've seen yet. And, um, from a, from a dealership standpoint, there's no reason for us to, um, there's no incentive for us to give you a discount. The supply and demand is just so crazy out there. And I don't want you to take what I'm saying. Is, and, and nothing I ever say is an arrogant or egotistical or narcissistic. I'm just, t I'm just telling you straight. And I think you guys know that. So I don't really have to t I don't really have to say that much, but, um, I promise you, um, there's no reason to do it. And, and I could sell cars for 10 grand over sticker all day long. So, but I, but I don't because there's value in, into all that. So Oh, we have another Tesla guy on here. 750 North. Tesla What's man. up, buddy? Love you. So he says, uh, what's your opinion on the 3.0 liter diesel offered in Silverado 1500? Is it selling well? Any service issues? Um, I like it. It's not for me. Um, for, for me personally, I don't see the advantage of, of spending the money on a diesel um, engine and not having really any benefits on it other than going out really, really long time frame of ownership, right? Maybe. I don't know. So... <clears throat> Again, kind of old school. I, I, I don't, I'm not old school in many things, but here we are talking about how I'm old school again. Diesel engines I'm used to is, you know, for pulling. So these are used for, I don't get why they're used for longevity. They're not meant for pulling because they don't have any extra pulling capacity. Um, then the half ton trucks, they don't have um, any better fuel economy, all that stuff. So um, I don't know. So, but I like them. No issues. I don't have anybody that has issues. I've sold a lot of them, so they do sell well. And then um, you totally missed the super chat. No, I didn't. Ryan Colby. Yeah, I saw. I just put it up there right now. Thoughts okay. on the new Trailblazer for a kid hauler? Um, it's good. Um, not a lot. Not a lot of room in in that second seat, but it'll work. And this is coming maybe for like little kids, yeah. younger kids, but not teenage kids. But listen, I'm kind of like anti buy a Tahoe, buy a Silverado, you know, or, you know a full size truck or a full size SUV. I meant to say Tahoe Suburban. Um, for for hauling family around but i didn't grow up in the era of having of having um suvs like this right i mean we had a dodge durango at one time back in the early 2000s yeah but and after, when the kids were younger that yeah. was great because we had a rottweiler and we had uh hauling them from practices and all that type of stuff we needed the space but yep. as they got older we kind of downsized to you know, we went to a Saab 97X for yep. a while, five-seater, and then went down to cars. Right. And and I don't say I don't want to say that we sacrificed, but we we didn't we didn't adjust our lifestyle for our kids for in a car, you know? Well, I find it amazing cuz so many people as soon as they get pregnant with one child, yep. it's like, "Oh, I need an SUV." 
I, yep. I got to have a big car, you know, a big SUV, and they want a tra- Traverse or a Tahoe. And it's like uh, you're having one child. You're not going to haul that much stuff around. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, I, I agree. I agree with that um, as well. So I see it all the time. And I'm like, why are you, why are you upgrading? Why are you rolling over $10,000 in negative equity to go up? You know, I mean, and some days I wonder why do I have a Tesla Model S that is a four door car? I don't haul anybody but myself right. and maybe you. Oh, let's, let's get you a Yugo. A what? A Yugo. No. Yeah, I think I think you go, you go. We bye go, bye. you go, we go, we go, you go. I don't know what, what kind of kind of heard that back in the day, but you gonna go bye bye. <laughs> oh. Find you a different house. No, I mean you would have to find a different house. Oh, wouldn't you? Uh, no. No, I, I would have to find a different house. You try to kick me out of my bed, and that doesn't work. So you're right; it doesn't work. Kick either. the dogs out. I try. I try. <laughs> I try. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I'm lost. Just, just, uh, too many, too many things were coming through and, uh, we were busy chit chatting. Ah, how can I get a Silverado with a Sierra tailgate? Let's go with that one. Well, the good news is, is, uh, we're coming out with that tailgate soon in the Silverado. So you just, uh, wait for the Silverado to get that tailgate. Oh, somebody said, get her, you Uber. I don't oh, need an Uber. Yeah. I think we should make her walk. I don't think she needs that nice of a nice of a vehicle, an Uber. Well, I got the C7 still. You <sighs> forgot <Yeah>. about that. <laughs> in the C7. <laughs> you forgot about that. Um, I did. I do remember now that somebody had asked earlier about your thoughts on the Hummer. Ooh, I didn't do a vi- I didn't do a video on that for a reason. Um, uh, if you remember, I did a video saying I want one. I'm gonna be the first person in the country with one. Um, can't read that still. Uh, so <laughs> I, tried, I tried to put like a little silent salesman up there. Um, so uh, here we do this. No. Nope. So I don't like it. Just simply don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is it looks like a Jeep. And I'm telling you, spending a hundred thousand dollars on a cheap ass roof like that, not a fan at all. Any way, shape, or form. Normal sunroof. Big sunroof, you know, panoramic type sunroof. I do not like the top that comes off, and I didn't. That's why I didn't get one. That's why I didn't go out and be like, I put a deposit down for for a Hummer. Also, what's the point in having an electric truck? Oh, I'm I'm game on an I electric mean, truck, right? No, but a truck is for using to haul, and you know, for essentially for work. I mean, so many people buy it for other reasons, but. That's what trucks were made for, was hauling and pulling. Yep. What good's an electric truck going to be? <laughs> the dog. <laughs> um, now, you know, uh, electric's got a lot of torque, and so you can you can haul. It's kind of like going to a diesel truck. But, I'm, so. you know, you got to worry about range. It, yeah. It's not about the torque. I know that the torque's there. I drive electric every day. But mm-hmm. the range is not going to be there. Especially when you're pulling something. I mean, Tesla Model X can pull stuff, but you're going to kill your range real quick. Right. Did they tell you how much the range was on the Hummer? I can't remember. No, I did not pay attention to the Hummer one bit. I saw leaked photos about two weeks prior to it coming out, and I'm like, no thank you. I didn't even pay attention to it. So Not a a fan. Not a fan. Uh Um, So Ryan asked, um, thank you, just looking for something for my wife to daily and haul and Nine and eleven year old, we hate vehicle debt. So looking in the cheaper and under thirty k, I think I think the Trailblazer will do good. So and I just I kind of maybe got off on a little tangent there, <laughs> but, uh, which is you very rare for on me. On a tangent, so what? So. <laughs> and then we have a dog in here yeah. playing. So, but um, no, I, I I'm all about making sacrifices with the kids. I'm not gonna, you know, there's so many people that buy um, three row cars and like you've only got two kids. Oh, but we do carpool excuse me, you're going to spend an extra 20 grand to help your friends out. Sorry. I love my friends to death, but I'm not spending 20 grand so I can pick up their kids from school. Not going to happen. So that's kind of my thought process. Again, not a jerk comment, not an egotistical or narcissistic comment, just, just the way I think. So Michael super chatted. Thanks bud. Appreciate it. So uh, any chance Chevy will add cooled seats to the trail boss leather seats? Um, nope. Because the reason why is, um, 
they broke the cars up into three segments. They brought them into high value, high content, and high, uh, wait, how'd they do that? They did it um, high con- high value, high content, and high luxury or something like that. So they're, the high content is the LT, RST, LT Trail Boss. Um, the high value is the custom trucks, the work trucks, stuff like that. And then uh, LTZ and High Country are the top end vehicles. So they're leaving those top end items like the ventilated seats in the uh, high end vehicles. The ventilated seats suck anyways. They're not very good. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> not. So um, Michael asked, um, uh, how many 2021 20, allocations do you think you're going to get? Best theory guess. Um, <clears throat> so I know you don't like to guess. Hey, these people know me well. Um, but uh, no, I think think we're going to get 115 and then I think we'll get more than that, but 115 is probably the number and we don't know yet what the production schedule is. I don't think, I do not believe and do not think that the factory is going to start producing 2021s one on a Tuesday, as they said, December 8th. And I have vehicles that are scheduled to be built the week of December 7th. So I don't think 21s well, are going to yeah, happen. Yeah. The eighth is a Tuesday. It's really weird. Really weird. The seventh is a Monday. Really what else is the seventh? I don't know. What's you should. The, what there's there is absolutely nothing in this world that means anything on the seventh except <laughs> for Pearl Harbor Day. Oh, really? But outside Pearl Harbor Day, there's nothing else that could possibly go well. There's not, nothing in this world that I care about on the seventh other than Pearl I Harbor. I guess Day. that the fact that somebody gave me permission earlier in the uh, stream to slap you. It's no, no, justified no. here. Permission comes from me. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's your four no, foot no, two no, status. No, no. You can't you can't physically come across <laughs> no, there. There See, is look, something I can, else. I can come across there. You can't. Oh, you want to bet? <laughs> I, sounds, this, yeah, this. let's do it on live t- <laughs> live streaming so that I can show the cops. <laughs> no, no, look, I'll just tell, I got I got wait. But yes, there is something on the seventh that's more important than anything else in the world. All right. So what we're ranting about, <laughs> arguing, is it's her birthday. Yep. She turns forty three on December seventh. Well, we didn't have to give my age away. Oh yeah. I'm... Tell them your age all you want. You know, I'm a woman. <laughs> anniversary, uh, Marie, uh, Marisa. I don't think I supposed to say your name. Her anniversary is on. Uh, the seventh awesome love it why did it just like show our because i said i could i can go to i can go to a different oh. screen and slap you around off camera and nobody okay. can see anything now, now they see, might I hear hate this delay they might I hear don't know. they might hear that but that's just you know me slapping my hands right uh-huh <laughs> right Corey? right she's not liking us ignoring her tonight what, what are you doing <laughs> so um super chat that came in was uh, boosted gray designs. We are pre order deposit uh, with you on the new Z06 and the update from Chevy. Chevy's doing no updates, and um, I can't really even speculate on what's going on with that. So I know a lot about it, but I can't. If I say anything, I'll get in trouble. So I, I'll just keep my mouth shut. <laughs> so, um, but I, I will say this that I think that uh, Detroit Auto Show, which is in June, not in January, it's supposed to be in June last year for the first time. But in June, I think that's when they're going to debut it. So it might change now um, uh, with uh, COVID, but who knows if we have a Detroit Auto Show next year. I don't know. Peyton said, Baja time. Um, you know, earlier somebody asked how long the PS5 giveaway was going. December so 19th. Should we do a shameless plug? Absolutely. ChevyDudeStore.com. Win me, right? This is my, <laughs> this is my PS5 that I got. And uh, uh, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's hurting me not to open this up. It truly, truly is. Uh, I want to open this up for myself, but I'm going to wait. And um, I figured that I could help somebody out who wants it or whatever. I mean, you can just, you know, ChevyDudeStore.com. Get your entries. I'm doing 10x entries right now. That's going to end soon. You don't need a PS5, anyways. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you're right. Uh, so uh, that, that, yeah, Zach asked, uh, why does GMC have cooled in their Trail Boss equivalent? Because it's GMC, right? GMC gets some things faster than Chevrolet. Um, the tailgate option, the that they, they just get different stuff because that's considered a higher higher I was brand. Gonna say GMC is like Cadillac. It's considered the more Luxurious, luxurious brand over Chevy. Yeah, 
Yep. So you're going to always find sometimes, I don't know if you want to call it better options, because again, ventilated seeds is not really a better option. Um, I personally can't even feel the, the cold on my butt the when C, I use the them. The C8 has done better. So the C8 did have better, I think, better ventilated seats. But um, like the C7, no, you know. Heated seats don't even work that great. Uh, yeah, I, I disagree with you on that. You think? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I didn't, because compared to our Pontiac GXP that we had, oh, the yeah. heated seats in that thing were awesome. Mm-hmm. And then go to the Camaro and the C7 and eh. Then again, you know, I don't drive the C7 in the cold weather too often. Right, to, and that, that's what I was going to say. We don't really drive it that much. Um, now, my Tesla heated seats, awesome. Yeah, they are. We, got, we drove those back from Fort Wayne over the weekend. So We've had a lot of questions about best time to buy a truck. Somebody asked if it was this month, wait till next, till or well, by the end of the year or wait till the first of the year. And then other people have just been asking, when's the best time to buy a truck? So let's talk about that. Yeah, so so I'll say this till I'm blue in the face. There's almost no good time in order to buy a car. It's all the same. So if we look at history and we start in January, we go to January 1st and we go to December 31st, um, if you look at the incentives, they're all about equal. It doesn't matter if it's employee pricing for everyone or if it's uh, truck month or whatever the case may be. The one, the one exception, the two exceptions, the two exceptions are if you have a Costco membership that come out with a thousand dollar additional rebate right now on a Chevy bolt, it's 3000 bucks. So right now is definitely the time to buy a Chevy bolt. Um, and then she's over there and then, um, uh, and then, uh, at the auto show during your auto show in your area, if you live in an area where you can get the auto show, then, then, you know, they have a different, different rebate for certain cars then, but outside that, rebates and incentives are all the same across the board. It's very, very consistent. It's just, it's just how they're doing their marketing truck month, employee pricing for every everyone. month is truck month. Every what month. are you talking about? Absolutely. Every single month is truck month. So, so the, um, so yeah, so it's very, very even throughout the year. So the, it is what it is. The dog had to get the most annoying toy. Keith. I love but, Keith. I just, I, uh, I'm not in the Corvette groups anymore. And camera Keith is, was, is we're OG in the Corvette groups and he's got a white Corvette C7 and he always posts his pictures up for white Wednesday. And, um, I was on my fake Facebook profile the other day and was in the Corvette groups looking around and poking around and not commenting or anything like that. Just kind of nosing around. And, uh, I saw, I saw Keith in there. I'm like, Oh crap. I have a white car. I could be doing white Wednesdays. <laughs> and you so, haven't had a white car. So I haven't months. had a white car in months, but I did have a white car. So uh, he asked if someone ordered a 2021 today, um, uh, when could they, when could they get um, a delivery. car? So if you, so I'm telling everybody when you get on the list of a dealer, expect 18 months. So if you got on a list today, you probably need to expect the 2022 model year. If you got it on the list a year ago, probably six or six or so more months. But Just what are depends. you telling the people who are actually putting in their orders right now that you are pushing to GM? Um, depends on when they, I told them, I keep telling them that I'll update them. So I, uh, you know, it's like, so do you think about three months? No, because they were if, able. Yeah. I'm telling them January, February right now for the November people. So like, it just depends on the production schedule, right? We're not privileged to that. Um, they're going to shut down for two weeks at the end of Christmas. They should have been shut down this week. I'm not sure if that happened or not. Um, so, or at least, no, at least shut down Thursday and Friday for sure. I'm not sure about Wednesday because I had a car built on Wednesday. Um, now that I said that out loud. So, yeah. So, so if you got, if you got an order in November, I'm, I'm thinking late January, early February time, time frame. but it's so goofy. Like I've got a car that's supposed to be built the week of, October 12th, I think it was the day. That was a while ago. Exactly. Still not built. So, <laughs> so that's why, that's why I tell everybody like, it's hard to, it's hard to guess on some things because I see the goofy stuff, right? I physically see the goofy stuff. I don't hear the goofy stuff. I see the goofy stuff. And, and so, so that's why sometimes I, I, I don't like being vague. I like being the professional. I like being the go-to guy. I like being the one that says, listen, 
Chevy dude said this, Mike Davenport said this, I'm taking it to the bank. I want that type of credibility with everything I do in the automotive world. So, so, uh, um, so that, you know, that's why I hate saying, I don't know, or I don't, I don't get it. But when I do say, I don't know, it's not, I don't know, like any other dealership ever tells you. Cause I hear all those horror stories as well. It's like, I don't know, but here's kind of what I think. And, you know, and I try not to put that stuff out on like public social media. That's more of a one-on-one conversation because one-on-one I think is a whole lot different than putting it on social media because I think you have a more personalized conversation that way, but also, um, uh, people on the internet, they start talking and they're like, and they completely take it out of construed. So it's just like, we'll just talk about the, the K 1500, the video that I did on TikTok That's got like 3 million views. I specifically say in that video, once the Chevy, once the Chevy dude channel gets to 500,000, I'll give the truck away. I didn't say contact me and give me a sob story. I didn't say contact me and ask me when I specifically said in that video, but everybody thinks I'm giving this truck away today. And the amount of, and I'm fine with that, the amount of sob stories and stories behind this, which is saddening to me on, on, on so many levels that I don't even get into my personal life of what, why these are sad to me, but it's, it's, it's uh, like they're, they're going all out. They need this truck. Right. So, so it's, it's, it's interesting watching all that stuff, but I didn't tell anybody to do that. They just assumed to do it. So, so that's why I don't like doing the videos on that stuff. Um, and then everything I did on the C8, a year and a half ago, two years ago, it all came to fruition. It all came out to be true and it all came out to be fairly, fairly accurate, probably 80 to 90 plus percent accurate. Unlike, you know, some other, some other things out there. Okay. A uh, couple different things. Um, Jacob w- says looking at a Ram 2500 Bighorn 2020 with diesel, it goes for 59. It's obviously not leather. Is this a good deal? Um, the sticker would be the, the MSRP would be the big thing. I would, I would be like, you need to be somewhere about eight grand off MSRP, maybe 10 grand off MSRP on a Ram. So listen, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not convinced Ram's a good product. So, um, they're at the bottom of all the third party reviews. Um, you know, they're just not a fan, not a fan in any way, shape or form of Ram. Love their interior. Love the way they look at their truck, but reliability, dependability. And I see their values just tank when you buy them. So buy it as cheap as you can, but um, eight to 10, eight to 10 K off MSRP is, is, the, is where I would be at. And blue said, do you think a 17 year old can buy a Corvette Stingray 2014 model? That's around 35 K, which if you're finding a C7 for 35 K, please tell us because we'd love to buy one. So you could, you can find, you can find one. Um, for that cheap, but they're going to be 70, 80,000 miles, most likely, um, on a 14, on a 14. Somebody actually drove that type of miles. Yeah. Here and there. <laughs> here and there. Um, Rams, bar- uh, John said Rams barely eking into trucks. <laughs> in my opinion, I, I don't have much of a, I don't, I don't say, you know, like, like a lot of our guys at work, not at the Chevy store, so to speak, but like at our Volkswagen store, our Subaru store, um, I don't know if anybody has got one at the Chevy store, but they're all buying Ram trucks because you can just get them so cheap. Like you can't compete. You can't compete with Chevy. Like, like a lease payment on an LTZ employee deal, maybe like four, four fifty a month on a Ram, like 300 a month, hundred dollars, hundred twelve, you know, $3,600 over three years. Um, guess who's back on our live stream? Who? Jordan. And Jordan, he was uh, trying to threaten me earlier Beep. Shut with your beating me. Shut your, shut your microphone <laughs> off. So uh, <laughs> he doesn't know where we I'm live. just alerting the police right now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, are there any Chevy models that still have manual transmission? I prefer this. Um, it influences my purchase decision. Please tell me they are still making them. Very, Whoa. very few. Uh, You're going to be lucky Chevy, to find a dealer that carries. Chevy Sonic? Do they make a Sonic? Now they're, oh, they done, they're, they're done with it. Or that's, that's why I meant spark. Yeah. Uh, Chevy Sonic was, was did, they did have one. Uh, Chevy Sonic, uh, cruise, probably Camaro, well, Camaro okay. manual transmission. Yep. Cruise doesn't get made anymore. No, I know. So. I'm just saying, but that's a recent that way. If you're looking at used, um, and then, um, spark and then work truck, Colorado. That's the only manual transmission cars we have. Unfortunately, yep. manual transmission is going by. Dead. Bye. Yeah. Why is GM offering a fifteen hundred current 
for current leases just to keep just to keep you in just to keep you in. So AC asked that question. Um, they they do it all the time uh, to do to do it for loyalty. It's a good thing to do. Are you sure? What is your favorite Corvette? <laughs> current one. I absolutely love the C8. The C8 is by far the awesome, the most awesome one. And this is a whole round opinion, right? The way it drives, the way it looks, the way it feels, the technology. So it's kind of hard to go backwards and say that a 76 Corvette um, is, is better than a C8, but I love the looks of seventies Corvettes, right? I love the look of that generation. Um, not real big on gen one, gen two, uh, uh, Corvettes, but threes, fours, five, six, sevens, um, l- love them all, but eight by far. What's the difference when you drive a C8 convertible compared to the coupe other than the headroom? I don't think there's much of any, um, drove them around. So I don't think much of any. So I think the biggest thing is, is, um, you can put that back window down. Maybe you have the windows down. So that way you don't have the wind coming back at you, hitting your inner face. Because um, when I have my glasses on, wind actually gets up into my face and like makes my uh, uh, eyes start water, kind of like I'm on a motorcycle. Well, you know how to solve that. You wear motorcycle sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, I'm not wearing a motorcycle sunglasses <laughs> on it. So, Dad, uh, Dad, I talked to you right when COVID hit uh, about doing a collab video. I'd still love to. I would would happen during the track event at Cecil. If you're still interested, I'll contact you. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. So always love doing things with other people. Um, you know, I like, I want to do more vlog style videos. Um, you know, I like doing dumb shit, you know, sometimes it's fun. I don't want to, my whole channel, I don't want to be doing dumb stuff. I don't want to be, I don't want, we talked about the other day, right? I don't want to be, I don't want to be street racing, right? That's, I don't, I don't street race. Um, do I drive a hundred miles an hour down the road? Absolutely. Every day, but I don't want to be. Why are you self-incriminating? I don't care. Um, <laughs> but uh, the but I don't want to be lining up against somebody and racing them down the road. Um, do I want to go to track and do it? Do I want to go do some circuit track? Do I want to do some autocross? Absolutely, hundred percent. Love doing stuff like that. I wish I wish Speed Phenom was close because I would love to, I would love to race him. I think I could I think I could drive better than he could. So I'll just call him out right now. I think I can drive better than he can. Uh, really, really cool dude. Um, but uh, yeah, definitely think I can drive better than he did. So uh, automatic or manual, which do you like the best? So I drive the C8 mostly manual mode. So I'm definitely, definitely manual all the way. But it's really not manual. Because it's not, you're but, I not can, but I can, con- but I you're can control it. You're not sitting there using a, you know, stick shift and actually shifting gears. You're just tap 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 yeah that's kind of why i was like eh, you know and why i said that because the the biggest thing about manual transmission is being one with a car right you can control the gears well you can do that tapping but at the same time it's not it's not this so it's um but i love the dual clutch transmission too uh i'd never even heard of the kia model but i didn't see that one Oh, yes. Yeah. Somebody asked about the Kia Celsto. Oh, right here it is. Yeah. SX Turbo or for, the Trailblazer RS. Um, I don't know anything about the Celsto. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm the Chevy dude. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you Trailblazer all day long, all day long. The Trailblazer is a really, really good vehicle. And um, I don't know anything about the Celsto, so I can't really start going into product comparison. But the safety equipment that I do know that's on the Trailblazer is, is, is nice to have. Do you think Chevrolet will ever? Oh, Jordan. Uh, do you think Chevy will ever come out with an electric sports car? And if of so, when? They will. I'm excited to see other companies come out and challenge Tesla. GM seems to be dipping into that realm, aka Hummer. So yeah, they they will. They we had the uh, E Camaro or whatever they called it, um, E Camaro. <laughs> so I don't know what they called. I can't remember. remember I mean, they. there's an they so talk about an E Ray all the time. Yeah. So that E Camaro was not just for them to have fun with. That E Camaro was for a reason. I'm not going to get into the reason, but there was a reason they built that E Camaro. And um, so, yes, they're absolutely going to go into it. Um, I think GM should, uh, I think GM's missing the boat on electric cars right now. Um, I think we make them too ugly. I love the bolt technology. The bolt tech, the, the technology, the battery stuff is in the bolt. Yes, I know we have some fire issues or whatever the recall was. 
but so did Tesla and so did other people. But um, the Bolt is absolutely ugly, I think, in my opinion. If we would take the Blazer and turn that into electric, if we'd have an electric Trailblazer, if we'd have an electric um, Yeah, I don't understand Malibu, why they can't just make electric. the cars look exactly like a car yeah. should and throw an electric yep. motor on it. So I think if they, I think if they did that, that we would blow Tesla out of the water. We would absolutely, we would, we would bankrupt Tesla if GM would just come out with everyday good looking cars. And we saw what happened with the Corvette. I said, I've said this for years, right? You know, I've said this for years. I've said this for years that it's a shame that we come out with a vehicle and Tesla comes out with a vehicle and Tesla boasts about the millions and millions and millions of dollars of deposits that they got. And Chevy comes out with a similar vehicle and I don't get one phone call on it. It's absolutely amazing. Then we come out with the Corvette, millions and millions and millions of deposits of dollars of deposits. And then the Hummer sold out in a couple hours. That's what I want to see GM do with our electric cars. And I think the way we do need to do with our electric cars and make them look like a regular car. If that thing was electric right there, I don't know if you can see it on her screen. Nope. Can't see. I moved the cameras. Um, my Corvette is up here or a Corvette's up here. If that thing was electric, 100% electric, dude, we'd sound like that. If our Malibu was 100% electric and it looked just like the Malibu, like I said, the blazer earlier, 100% electric, if our truck was 100% electric. You know, all these vehicles that we have as gas engines, if we would make them electric, we would sell the heck out of them and Tesla would be bankrupt immediately. So Huskies, thank you. Our, box, Box. our boxers are goofy as can be. Yeah, they were. What just happened barking. to the K fifteen hundred giveaway? So the K the K fifteen hundred giveaway. So I say this over and over and over again, which I'm glad to do. So it's not going to happen until we get a half million subscribers on the channel. So um, till my till my sub sub count says five hundred thousand, I'm not going to do the not going to do it. So we got a little ways to go, but we don't have that far to go. So it's an incentive for both parties. Me to work my tail off to create content that makes you want to sub, makes you want to come back and watch the videos, makes you watch multiple of my videos, watch, make you watch two, three, four, five of my videos over and over and over again to support the channel, to learn, to have some fun, have some entertainment. And then for you to be like, yep, I'm hitting that sub button and let's get in there so we can get that, uh, get that K1500 giveaway because this is my, this is my first dab in a giveaway, right? This is being very, very successful. And for every entry into this, I'm given to Toys for Tot, which Mrs. Chevy Dude and I have talked about it multiple times, that we need to give away to charity. And I think that supplements that so it doesn't just look like it's profit for Chevy Dude, which any money that I make in this reinvest back into the company. But but this has been very, very successful. And I want to continue that success because if I haven't done a vehicle giveaway because I'm just too scared of the risk. It's just, that's plain and simple, just a business decision. decision. So, so the, uh, so doing this giveaway here has been really awesome, which, you know, ShevyDudeStore.com if you want to win it. And then, um, and then I'll just get, start giving vehicles away. And I want to give vehicles away that help people, right? If you want a Corvette, okay, sweet. You can sell it and make money, right? But if I could, if I could give you a car and pay your taxes and it helps your family get from point A to point B or better your life and get a better job, um, you know, all that stuff. That's, that's what I'm all about. That's what I, that's what I want to do with my car giveaways. I'm going to tell Lucky you vlogs. Thank you. This, um, <clears throat> trying to have that phone number and stuff, your th stuff was not updating. I had to go in and physically refresh and just saw that I had like a bajillion, bajillion oh, messages. Really? Oh, you weren't doing that? No, I have to sit there and refresh every five seconds. No. Well, refresh when you want to, uh, but um, I mean, you know, it should have been automatically just coming in type of thing, not have to sit there and refresh all the time. Oh, maybe you should download the app. I should do that. <laughs> Does it come in in real time on the mm -hmm. app? Yeah. So why doesn't it do it on the computer? Because it's, it's a web browser. Well, so I've missed so many things that have came in through. Sorry, anybody who text that number, I'm... All right, rookie. Not on it. Let's, let's rattle them off. Let's get to them. Well, um, somebody asked, when can we expect to update our 2020 orders to a 2021? So you can you can do them now with your dealership. You just need to contact your dealership and do them. If it's me, I'm doing a little bit different. So if it's me, 
I came through and I did a bunch of them because I was being told by General Motors reps, General Motors executives, to get all my orders in because they're going to come to us one day and be like, boop, you have 84 orders to put in today. That's what that, that's what I was told. It's exactly what I was told, and that's why I did it. Um, hindsight's twenty twenty. I wish I didn't do that now, but it is what it is. Cause I, I, you know how much I worked at that. How many times I stay here till ten o'clock at night out, out there um, doing stay that work? Here. You better be staying here past ten o'clock at night. So, well, I'm just saying, staying out there at the <laughs> table. But um, the um, so now for me, I'm doing them a couple weeks prior to. So, like, I'm gonna have eight units to put in next month. And I'll contact those people to put them in like a couple weeks prior to, to the orders. Okay. Um, tint, does it void a warranty? Window tint? No, you're, you're fine on that. I tint my, I tint all my windows. Do you know if the C8 is going to offer a grand sport? They will. So the way, the way the Corvette's always done in the past is, um, we come out with a Stingray, then we come out with the Z06 and then we come out with the Grand Sport. Because the Grand Sport and the Z06 are the same vehicles, with the exception of the horsepower. So they put the base engine back in it, and they go after the people who bought the first-year car, second-year car in this case as well, and they get them to buy the wide body because they like that. But it's $20,000, $10,000 cheaper than the Z06. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't need that type of horsepower, but I like that wide body. So they get people to buy those again. And I'm just going through these. Uh, has a 2020 C8 Corvette ended, and when will they be delivered? Best guess. Um, so nope, they haven't. They haven't stopped yet. So they're still being built. I have three or four more to go, and uh, first week of December, I think they're going to be done. The, the well, I guess the second, yeah, the first full week of December, the second second week, the eighth, the week of the eighth, seventh, I guess. Uh, somebody wanted you to do the math on a lease payment for a. 2021 Tahoe. Um, I've already done that. Well, I mean, 2020. Yeah, 2021. Yeah, we did the lease on the 2021. Yeah. Go watch our video. Yeah. <laughs> Google. How much is a Tahoe payment? Yep. Google, how much is a Tahoe payment? And I did I did a lease on there. So, uh, spoiler alert, it's the same payment as an 84 month lease loan. Excuse me. It's the same as an 84 month loan. So, but go watch that and I break that down extremely detailed, and extremely well. Okay. Um, and I did that. I did that because everybody walks in and says, I need an $800 Tahoe payment. Man, I tell you what, if I can get you an $800 Tahoe payment, I'd be having two of them right now. It ain't happening. But the you might as well just bank on $1,600 a month. I like this one. Why is a fuel level sensor such a common problem for Corvettes? I didn't know that was an issue. Well, I don't know about the fuel level sensor, but on our C7, C7 yeah. we that's, can't that's put That's a the, common thing. Uh, nozzle nozzle yeah and that's the filler neck yeah uh in improperly without it shutting off yeah so that's that's an issue and i didn't even know that was an issue and in one of the facebook groups somebody had their filler neck upside down filling it and i'm like what the hell are you doing i've never heard this before blah 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 and then our c7 starts do, <laughs> doing it i'm like oh man so um Rodney asked any tips for a new car salesman all day long, brother, all day long. I can give you, I could sit here for Too six more hours. <laughs> I can do six more hours, but here's the biggest tips. Here's the biggest tips. on being a phenomenal car salesman. Do it as if it was your mother. Every single person treat like it's your mom. Be transparent, be ethical and know your trait, know your industry. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it this way. Don't let anybody tell you that that's just the way it's, it's done. Uh, what do I want to say? I want to um, question everything. I may be an asshole to people at work, but I'll tell you what, I, I, I've got the loyalty of the customers and that's all that matters. They fired me on Monday. That's fine. I don't care. So they, but I do everything right. And the customers who writes my paycheck and that's who, that's who I want to take care of. And I do car sales with the thinking of not a car deal today, I never think about today's car deal. Never. I never, if you're sitting in front of me and wanting to buy a car, today's not, I'm not thinking about that car deal. I'm thinking about the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh car deal down the road. Because when I think that way, this one's going to come. This one's, I, I've done, I'm going to do my job correct, right? I've practiced my trait. I've practiced my profession. I'm the professional when it comes to car sales. So I know this, this deal is going to work out. We're going to figure it out. 
But what I want to do is earn your business when you walk away from the dealership and you're, you haven't talked to me in a month, two months, three months that you're like, you know what? I'm calling Mike Davenport. I'm calling Chevy dude. That's what you do. Rodney with every single deal is think down the road, be professional, be transparent, be the, be the person that they go to. Um, I saw this, I saw this the other day. Again, you guys know me, not egotistical, not arrogant, not narcissistic in any way, shape or form. But I saw someone talking about credit apps the other day about doctors and lawyers and attorneys and all that stuff. And I love taking their credit apps and I love seeing that I make more money than them. And I didn't go to school to be a doctor. I didn't go to school to be an attorney because I'm the professional and I don't walk into the dealership ever in 21 years. I've never walked into the dealerships. Like I need to make this much money today. I go in and I focus on my execution and the results absolutely happen immediately and they had, or every single time. And then they also, um, the income is automatic. I don't have to worry about it. I never had to worry about it ever because that's what I was taught back in 2000, but we can go on about talking about car sales. Uh, no, <laughs> let's one move. of the videos I want to do is how to become a car salesman. That, that question has been that question. I've seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of that question. Well, how do, how, how do I to become, become a car salesman, walk into a dealership, put in your application. But there's, I think there's, I think there's a better way than just doing that. <laughs> Imagine if they went to Glenbrook Dodge. Is they'd it, be hired any. They'd be hired immediately, right? But would they last? Well, it just depends. Toyota Louisville. They, Do you think they would last a Toyota Louisville Kia in Louisville? Do you think they would last a Heartbeat Com uh, Dodge, uh, whatever that Dodge place is here in Louisville? Do you think they would last? No. They'd be taught wrong, and they would set their car sales up career and just fall flat on their face. So we'll do a video on but that. But most of them get taught wrong. Most do, correct. So that's a whole different, you know, that's a whole different rant. And, you know, he can go on and on and on and on and <laughs> I, on. I, lo and I on. love car sales. I love what I do. And I love but, sharing, sharing that I love doing it. And I love sharing how you can do it ethically, honestly, professionally over and over and over again. So that's, so that passion that comes out of me talking about it, that's not made up. That's not practice. That's not rehearsed. That's just deep inside, you know? But you and, know, you would never even be in this situation if I didn't force you to go into car sales. Oh, oh, oh mighty Adrian. Exactly. <laughs> and why'd you use my real name on live? Everybody type in yo Adrian in the comments, please. <laughs> I'm not even on that comment section. So, you know, go ahead. I won't see it. All right. What's okay. the next one? Um, I have a C8 ordered. At what point can I no longer make changes to my build? Once your car goes to 2000 status. So once you're, if you're 1100 status, it's only going to be 11 or 2000 status. Um, but once you go 2000 status, you can't make any more changes. Okay. Best car under five grand. Um, best car under four grand. Five. Five grand. Um, it depends on many circumstances, but I mean, you can find Chevy cruises with a hundred thousand miles, 120,000 miles that, that are good. Um, you can find, um, Honda civics are tough to find. Honda civics are real good cars. If you can find one for five grand, do it. Um, they run forever. Um, Toyota Corollas, you know, they run good stuff like that. Little cars, little four cylinder cars. Okay. How would I purchase a used car from you? I live in Nashville, Tennessee. Would I be able to do it from here? Yes. I do everything on the phone. I do everything. I do everything, everything on the phone. I don't want you to come to the dealership and make a decision. I want you to make the decision at home. And when you come to the dealership that you know, you're buying a car. So, um, I, I do trade appraisals on the phone. I do everything on the phone. Caleb, Caleb, uh, uh, thanks buddy. I appreciate that. I got your text message too, and I'll, I'll hit you back. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. So, everything, everything, um, can be done online. So, um, I'm actually working a car deal right now online so that I can, um, so that I can come back to you guys and show you the process and not to spoil it, but show you the unwillingness that they are to negotiate and the unwillingness that they are to, um, bend on any way, shape or form. They're just being like, this is it. Tough luck. See you later. And they actually told me to go to another dealership and have my car appraised there. Interesting. Who was that? Who I've been texting and emailing them, you know, what we did on oh. what we did on Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh. Yeah. Well, I wasn't paying attention to whatever you were talking about. Imagine that. I, 
I just heard the last part and, you know, but regardless, oh, Jordan, we know what our cars are. Jordan work. said that uh, his wife is still wanting the Chevy check apparel and you I didn't, know, you didn't and even wear your Mrs. Chevy dude shirt. No. It was a custom made by our daughter. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, trying to represent since we're trying to sell stuff on the Chevy dude store represents things that are actually on the Chevy dude store. Right, right. Uh, and somebody, AC, said, where's the Mrs. Chevy dude <laughs> apparel or maybe Mrs. Tesla? So I can, um, uh, Koshal, I uh, think if I'm pronouncing that right, says, can you sell cars to Canada? I can sell used cars to Canada. I cannot sell new cars to Canada, um, but I can sell used cars to Canada. I do that. Eh, I do it, I don't know, three or four or five times a year. Um, I kind of like this question earlier. Somebody wanted to know when are you when are we going to see you race your C eight against Honda Pro Jason's uh Civic Type R? Oh, I didn't know that that was a thing, but we can. <laughs> Absolutely. Was it Honda Civic Pro Jason uh it, asking that question? No. Oh. Just somebody else. But no, tell, they, you know. I don't I, I think I knew who that is. Uh but no, I'm I'm game on it. Let's go. Uh Gary asked, how do you do trade appraisals over the phone? So um, if you haven't noticed, I'm a little analytical on things that I do. And, um, basically I just have a questionnaire that I email you and you fill out and I, I'm, I'm very lucky. I'm very fortunate. People don't lie to me. I don't lie to anybody. And I think that's, I think that's just mutual professional respect. People don't lie me about, lie about their condition of their cars. And I tell them that, listen, I'm going off your word. If your car comes to me, and it's got two thousand dollars worth of damage. Guess what? Your 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 value is going down two grand. I'm asking you specific questions on your car, and if you tell me something other than what it is, then your the deal is going to change. And it's not my fault; that's your fault. So don't go on the internet and say, "Oh, I had a deal with Chevy dude, and he 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 changed his mind once he saw my car." Well, great great news. I got proof that you told me that your car didn't need tires, but oh, they were all bald, right? So, so I ask I ask really good questions. I ask really good professional questions to get the proper answers. And you know, I'm not going to screw you over. So you answer those questions truthfully and honestly. And like I said, I never have an issue. It never comes into play. I literally just traded for a 25,000 mile Volkswagen Jetta from Virginia. Didn't see it until I got it. And I took him his car and you know, his Mercedes. So, I mean, it happens all, I do it every day. It's, it's really simple for me. And like I said, I don't ever have to I don't really don't have to ever, ever, I never really have an issue. Is your used car rebuild and flip says, is your used car still opening? Oh, uh, what? Hmm? Huh? huh? What? Who is that? Huh? Nope. Don't, don't, don't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> so that? are you still going to open a used car lot? That's <laughs> what he says. Rebuild and flip. Eh, you know, maybe one day we'll see. Yeah. So hopefully maybe, maybe. I start this Tuesday. Oh, where are you starting at, Rodney? I missed your comment. Thank you. Um, yeah, I missed it. Where, where do you start at? So I would say, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to make a video on that. I'm, I'm, I'm still <laughs> I'm still thinking through it. That's why I don't want to say it. There's so um, many things. Boyd says. Boyd, so many things in the works. says you don't street race. I don't. I, I really don't. Uh, you haven't been out street racing in a very long time. I did it one time when I went out that one night. I did it one time next when I was in the Camaro. But I, like I don't line up against people and stuff. Do I like I said? Yeah. Do I do 100 miles an hour? Absolutely. I did. I did 140. Do you flex this on people? Yeah. Especially those who are in other cars like Mustangs or I rev on them all the challengers, time. Challengers, you know. They rev on me too. But like I put stuff on Instagram stories all the time. Like I did. There was a a Dodge charger, I think the other day that was putting his turn signal on and revving up in front of me. So I jetted by him at maybe a hundred or something like that on a curve that he couldn't keep up on the curve. Any 19 C7 vets now new available for sale. And there is zero new ones that I've seen in the country. Thoughts on Amelia's thousand horsepower Prius. Is that what it is? Um, that's awesome. I didn't know that. I didn't know it was a thousand horsepower. So we talk, we talk all the time, and I know some of the builds she's doing, but I didn't know she had a thousand horsepower in that thing. That's awesome. I don't get to watch a lot of YouTube, so I don't, I don't watch, I don't watch YouTube. That so. would be um, interesting because that's going to be. She did a YJ swap. A YJ? She didn't do a J. Uh, T, I think she did a YJ swap in it. You don't know what a YJ is, so, but basically, it's a four cylinder um, engine that Toyota makes that you can turbo up really good and gets a lot of horsepower out of it. So. 
Two uh, J is a really popular one. What's, you know, YJ, right? YJ. even more pr- impressive is when a fully electric car <laughs> has the equivalent of a thousand horsepower. Kind of like the Tesla Plaid that's coming out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. I can't wait to get my hands on that one. Yep. What's the next question? Um, this one's really long, but uh, earlier Anthony wrote in that he has um, a deposit for a 2021 uh, HTC. Mm-hmm. So, Hard talk. Yeah. I was going to say that, okay. but, you know, for everybody who doesn't know. Um, and he says he owns his own three-piece wheel company and will be doing one-off wheels as well as the competition carbon wide body. Um, he was wondering how difficult it is to remove the interior pieces that's optioned as carbon. And do I have to have the carbon interior or can I just basically do my own? No, you can do your own. So um, I haven't taken anything apart. The door handles are real simple. I would assume the, um, the, yeah, around you haven't the, had to take anything apart on the C8 no. yet. <laughs> so around the driver mode is real simple. I don't know about the cluster up there. Sometimes some of that stuff you have to take the dash apart, but I bet that just kind of pops straight out. So I think you're, I think you're good. And then the be other cool question, and maybe other people don't know is how do you do a super chat? Um, I mean, I wouldn't know because I'm never on. It's live easier streams. on the desktop, but there is a dollar sign down there on your super chat. You gotta have your credit card in there. Um, I've given Mr. Beast plenty of money. Uh, it's the only person I ever super chat is Mr. Beast because then he then he talks about me and people see me and they subscribe to the channel. So, um, yeah, it's at the it's at the bottom um, of the uh, of the uh, thing here. Let me see and this would have been nice earlier. Yeah. Somebody answered our question, or they went and looked up. The Hummer EV gets 320 miles to a full charge. Oh, yeah, there you go. Perfect. But that's still not very much, especially when you consider the uh, winter driving. Yeah. Because it won't, you know. So down here, it's going to be tough to see. I don't know if I'm going to see it. Nope, it's not a focus. But down here in the bottom right, there's a little dollar sign that pops up, and you can do a super sticker or a super chat. And that's how, and that's how you do it. Um, so Rami said PS five, baby. Yes. So when you can win the PS five, uh, at Chevy store.com, you can get your entries. We're doing 10 X entries right now. Um, which that stuff will, is going to go away here real soon. So the contest runs until the 19th of December. And then, um, I will physically overnight it to you. So whoever, whoever wins it, you'll have it Tuesday morning. So, um, I'm going to pull, I'm going to pull it, I'm going to pull it Wednesday or Sunday morning, probably Sunday morning. And, uh, um, and then I'll let you know by phone call and you'll have it Tuesday morning all overnight to you. You'll have it before Christmas. Do you want to give it away to somebody? If you'd be like, yes, it's mine. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to Christmas so I can play the PS five, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm not sure if Mark is still on, but he texted in earlier about museum delivery. Mm-hmm. Does financing get taken care of at the dealership or the museum? Uh, at the dealership. every So everything happens at the dealership uh, prior to going. So with my customers who do museum delivery, which I did like three of them this week, um, uh, I overnight them all the paperwork and and uh, they're, they're done that way. So Here's a great one. Why do you dislike Fords? Uh, do I want to tell them the truth? I don't dislike Fords. So... Um, I play it up on the internet because it's, it's, it's the never ending battle Ford versus Chevy, right? It's a never ending battle. It's great, great engagement. It's fun. I get a lot of shares out of it. Um, it's a lot of brand recognition out of it, but, um, ultimately there's not a bad vehicle on the road. So, um, I just, it's just a game to me. It's just, it's just absolutely, absolutely a game that it's nothing. I don't, I don't like in life. I don't dislike anything. So the, the, the worst of the worst people who have, who, you know, the guy who sued me a few years ago, right? If he needed help, I'd help him in a heartbeat. I'm, I, I don't, <laughs> I don't hold grudges. So, so I don't hate anything. I don't think I would let you, but you know, that's a whole nother conversation. I like this question and it gets a little personal and something that you don't talk about very often, but the 
person asked, when did you get your first car and how long did you have it for? But let's just talk about your first car that you purchased. My very first car, right? And the fun time driving it in the (laughs) winter. So we're talking about that Mercury, right? That white one? Mm Mm-hmm. So I don't remember the winter, but um, so, so you guys... Some of you know, some of you don't. We we met the second week of high school in 1992. So September 11th, so 1992. We've been together for 28 years. And I'm 43. She's 43 in a f- couple days. couple so, days? I have a little more than a couple <laughs> days. So uh, so we've spent, our whole, we've spent our whole lives together, right? So she knows everything about me, and, and I know way too much about her. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so... So, um, so, uh, when I was 16, I bought a car off of a neighbor for like $250. Oh, I thought it was 150. It was 150. So Super the to- cheap. I told you she knows. And, <laughs> and, and maybe, maybe somebody told me, he's like, Hey, listen, they're not going to sell you the car for that cheap. They want 250. Maybe it was that situation, right? This is 1994, five, 95. Um, so, so I bought this car. And a short time after that, the brakes went out. It's a stick shift car. And it was a Mercury Topaz, a Mercury. It was like a, it was like the equivalent to a Ford Taurus, I think. So um, it was probably like something that. from the 80s, you know. And um, and then the brakes went out, and I couldn't afford to fix the brakes. It was a stick shift car. And so I always made sure I gave myself plenty of distance. Probably didn't have insurance on it because I, I couldn't afford insurance probably. Um, and maybe I did, who knows? So it was a cheap car. So maybe it was 10 bucks a month or something. Um, but, uh, um, I would just make sure I downshifted everywhere. And when I came to a stoplight, I'd pull the old handbrake up and make sure I come to a dead complete stop. And then 1996, um, I got another car. This was my first car I got on payments. It was at a buy here, pay here company, a very professional one. They treated me really good. Um, no games, no game, no gimmicks, nothing like that. I was in, I was delivering pizzas for Pizza Hut in Fort Wayne, Indiana, and uh, forgot to turn my lights on. And somebody turned in front of me, and I told that car out, and um, it basically just paid the car off, and I didn't have anything to show for it. So um, didn't have gap because I didn't need it because I put enough, I had enough money saved up uh, to put it down. But they basically just paid off my loan, and uh, and that was good. And I was walking and. I was doing that for another couple of years. And then her best friend's um, parents, um, they might've gave me the car. I don't remember. I think you bought it for cheap. 500 bucks or something like that. So, but it was a really, really nice Hyundai um, accent or something like that. And the transmission <laughs> was the pa- power steering. <laughs> yeah. So the transmission, the transmission was starting to slip. So they, uh, they didn't want to really like sell to anybody, but they knew I needed a car. So. So, you know, that's a couple of things with my car. So it was a, I ha, I've had POS cars. So yep. that's why, that's why I was just talking about, I, I ran into somebody from, from when I was a little kid, um, on Tuesday, Wednesday afternoon. And, uh, where, where we're getting some, uh, um, meat. And, um, you know, I told them, I told them that, uh, I hadn't seen him for, for a long time. I was like, it's amazing how I grew up and where I came from. And now I'm daily driving a six figure car. Just absolutely insane to me. And I don't like, like, that's why I've like tried to like involve everybody. Right. It's like here, set in the car. Let, 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 that one little kid wouldn't, wouldn't was scared. And, and I just let him stand on, stand on top of the car. Didn't care. <laughs> uh, shipping to shipping a new truck to the West coast. No. So shipping right now is absolutely insanity. Um, shipping a truck enclosed to the West coast. You're probably looking at 25 to $2,800. Um, absolutely insanity for shipping vehicles right now. So, um, if you, uh, there is not enough drivers and way too much inventory right now. So are C8s behind with orders or is Chevy up to speed and how long of a wait? Uh, nope, still way behind. Um, telling everybody, if you put an order in today, expect 18 months, um, to, uh, to uh, get something. Uh, let's look at this one. Uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo. 99 to a 2004. Do you think it's going to be worth about three to seven K price tag? I, this basically the person's looking to buy. Yeah, mm, probably 99. Yeah. Square body. Yep. It's that's, that's probably exactly right where it's worth. Okay. 
Uh, I'll give you 500 for the PSI, PSS5 right now. <laughs> 500? So, That's so, not enough. <laughs> I, I spent more than double that on it. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah. I, I had I had to I had to pay I had to pay I had to do everything that I told everybody not to do is pay over MSRP I paid way over MSRP for it but it's it's uh it's my it's my test on giving things away right so when this is done yeah we might be giving away a car so we're gonna give away the K K fifteen hundred once we hit five hundred thousand subs so so it's uh this this gave me this has given me some confidence on on doing stuff on purchasing and knowing the laws having having a third party involved with making sure that everything's done lawful. Um, don't want sued, don't want any issues, don't want, you know, drama. Um, and, uh, there's some expense on that as well. So, um, found out that you have to spend, uh, extra money for people in New York and Florida to participate in contests. So when you, when you see at the end of all the rules open to legal U S residents, you automatically think you're legal. Well, if that company did not pay, Florida and New York for the uh, contest uh, entry, then those people aren't legal United States residents that can participate. It's really crazy. The It's all crazy because I know like when Tesla used to do the referral, uh, you had your referral codes and by referring so many people, you could get wheels or Free a cars, yeah. wall connector or whatever, but it, if you lived in Ohio or something like that in a couple other states, you could not, you were not eligible for it at all. Yeah. So there's, so bird dogging, right? I think everybody kind of understands the term bird dogging, but in case you don't, that means like if you send me a customer and I know who you are and you're like, Hey, I bought a car from Mike. Hey, go buy a car from him. Um, I'll bird dog you a hundred bucks for sending me a customer, right? It's, it happened. I, I don't know. I paid out eight or $900 this week in referral fees. Um, so, so, you can't do that in like Pennsylvania, New York, New Jersey, stuff like that. Ohio maybe is one of them. There are states all across the country that bird dogging is illegal. I don't know how they get around it, but yeah, that's why Tesla, um, um, <laughs> Florida is just North Cuba. Um, I love Florida though. This is where we want to go. Um, so, uh, Rebuild and Flip was asking, do we buy tickets or a T-shirt? Basically, oh yeah. if you go to ChevyDudeStore.com, yep. anything that we sell you win entries if you purchase that item. And then what was the other way? Like if you sent a postcard in for a free entry? Yep. It was uh, on ChevyDudeStore.com. Oh, yeah. Everything's there. That All the rules and participation. So just check out ChevyDudeStore.com. Yep. And we have Spiff to Spiff for a kick. I like, I like that. Uh, John B. said Spiff for a kick. Jordan's like, you need to talk to the Sheriff's know, Department and get them into some Chevys instead of these darn Durangos. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you poor thing, Jordan. Yeah. What's, what's the next one? Uh, oh, I'm supposed to be. Yep. I got to find stuff. Oh, opinion on an 89 S 10. Oh, I saw, I saw that. Com I saw that comment earlier and I forgot about it. Um, so the, um, those are, those are great. Those are great cars. Right. So, um, I love, I love those, I love those vehicles. So as long as they're, as long as they're good, um, one of the guys at work, I think he's still got it. He's selling a little bit older S10, like maybe early 2000s, five, six, something like that. I can't remember what he's got. He's got Corvette wheels on it and stuff. It looks, it looks cool. He's put a different bumper, different, uh, different front and rear bumper on it. He might be selling seen, for like $6,500 or something like that. Have you seen the one up the street that, uh, I don't know particular what it is uh because i don't know those older body styles but lowered truck it's brown has uh like matching rims uh, -uh i haven't seen that one it's uh um, on our street no up 64 state road 64 oh no i haven't seen that I have to look for it i have to look for that okay somebody asked um somebody asked <laughs> that they're looking to get a deal on a new car or SUV, Chevy or GMC, which. Like which one? Which, uh, I mean, they're, they're the, they're the same, they're the same vehicles. So it's just, a, it's just a matter of, um, which one, which one you, which one you want, right? It's the same, it's the same thing. Um, GMC is going to have a little bit more equipment, a little bit higher priced. Um, they've got the available carbon fiber bed. They've got, um, they've got the, the available tailgate. So we got the only power up tailgate 
in the in the on the truck market right now. So it's just it, it really just depends on what you like. GMC has got the unique, you know, flat grill face. I like that. So um, the Denali, uh, you know, sometimes the radios are different. So it just it just depends on what you like. I think you can get a deal on any, on anything over right now. So AC says, would you let Mrs. Chevy do drive a Ford? She can drive whatever she wants. Would I, I my, drive a Ford? I don't know if you would. Not right, right now. Yeah. I, there's nothing that Ford makes that interests me. Um, I don't, I mean, a lot of times choices in cars have not even been my choice. So. Yeah, it, the Tesla was. The Tesla was that and the C7. But like when we bought the white Camaro, that wasn't fully my choice. That was something you found that was a good deal, and mm-hmm. you're like, "Let's get this." The grand, the Grand Prix we had was his originally, and hand me, you know, kind of hand me down. Um, I think the Saab nine seven X was probably the last vehicle I actually chose. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I haven't had a lot of vehicles to choose from he normally either passes them down or uh picks them for me now i i don't allow that much anymore so i am getting but still there isn't a whole lot of cars out there that i even desire yep i've always uh the kids are really the only ones i've restricted on what they get so um alex asked Opinion on the new Chevy Trailblazer. Love the Chevy Trailblazer. I um, think it's an awesome small SUV. So, um, Monster Pitcher Mom. Pitcher Mom, I like that. Can you make a Chevy Do Debt sticker? Obviously, you need some this, women stuff. I do, yep. So, this is this is all this is all new to me, right? So, like, I'm a car salesman in Louisville, Kentucky, and people come into my dealership every day to take pictures with me, get autographs. You know, they, they call me on the phone like, oh, my God, I can't believe you answered or I can't believe you called me when they're trying to do business with me. Right. This is really weird to me. So definitely having like shirts and stuff like that to sell is, is awkward. So um, we've had a lot of people say Mrs. Chevy dude stuff. So um, do I just take this and put Mrs. on top of it? Do I you know, what, what do I do? Right. So um, do I do a do I do a Mr. and Mrs. versus shirt? That's kind of just thought of that on my head. It's like, who's better and make it look like, so you're better than me, you know? So we already know when, that. when in reality, what's not true, but you know, no. we'll, we'll let people no, you think had it that. Right. <laughs> you had it right. Um, yeah. I mean, that's like the whole thing is just trying to figure out what to do. I mean, maybe you just do a do debt, yeah. Chevy do debt. Yeah. Yeah. I got, I, I kind of got an idea of a shirt that I want to do that, that I'm literally just thinking about putting dude on it. Right. So it's, it's not a, it's not like something I talk about on a routine, but I'm lucky to have, you know, I got 40 plus million subscribers in my back pocket that helps me out quite a bit. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, try to try to do some stuff with what he does and mentors me and helps me out and stuff like that. So, but, uh, but that's, but that's what, that's where this is going. And, you know, entering to win the the PS five is, is helping our company and then also helping toys for tots. And, and it's just this kind of my segue into, okay, let's, let's do stuff. People actually want to get involved. Um, they want to support my company, our company, my channel, our channel, you know, they want to, they want to do that. So, and that's why we tried to start doing streaming earlier in the year. And we found out the, the hardness of that, but all this equipment is not cheap. This is thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. I think these microphones are 500 a piece, just one of these. So I can't remember. You can look them up. They're the best microphones on the market though. Everybody was like, Oh, just buy, buy the cheap stuff and see if you do it. And I'm like, Nope, I'm, I'm going all in. I'm not going to buy a $200 microphone. And then, Oh, okay. I think I'm going to do this all the time. I'll go buy the four or $500 microphone. That's, that's just, it's not, I don't think that's good business. And those are go all in. So it is what it is. So we just, we just learn. Shush, you're on speaker. <laughs> uh, so any uh, C8 Corvette base model price, fifty nine nine ninety five. Are you sure? And Cause you tried to raise I, the price I tried to earlier. Raise it earlier. Yeah. And then uh, seven grand more for the convertible. What do you got over there? What do I have? Somebody asked about the Camaro 2SS1LE. 
Uh, what's the process to order one, and what do you think about it? So uh, love the 2SS1 LE. It's a phenomenal car. The order process, I need to do a video on this, and I need to do a video on on employee pricings and uh, discount pricing and stuff like that. But um, so it's really, really easy to order one. Just say, hey, I'm going to order one. Uh, leave me a deposit. About eight weeks, it comes into the dealership. It's that's it's really that simple. Order it the way you want, and you're and you're good to go. They're built in Michigan, so they get here, they get to the dealership really, really quick. The one LEs sometimes take a little bit longer because they wrap the hood, and a third party company does that, so it has to go off site and get wrapped. So uh, that's the only drawback of the one LE cars is that happens. Um, down payment. How much down do I need for a 2021 Tahoe? So let's just talk down payment. I, I always tell everybody 20%, 20%, 20%, 20%. So you got to realize that when you buy a vehicle, you automatically have somewhere between 7 6 ish percent to 10% um, tacked onto the price, price of the car for taxes, title, license, fees, right? So if you have, if you have a... $70,000 Tahoe purchase price and you have 6% in tax. It's $4,200. If the dealership has a $500 fee, now you're at $4,700. If you have $350 in title work and all that stuff from the DMV, um, that's, let's say 4,700 plus 350, that's five thousand fifty dollars. So divided by seventy one, I say seventy thousand or seventy one thousand. I'm not 70, listening. Okay, to let's you. do this all over. <laughs> seventy thousand times seventy thousand times point oh six is forty two hundred dollars. Plus a five hundred dollar dealer fee plus three hundred fifty. Oops, forty. Darn it, Mike. Come on, seventy thousand times point six is forty two hundred dollars in taxes. Plus five hundred dollar dealer fee plus three hundred fifty. My goodness gracious. What is doing going on here? Point six. Obviously, you plus, don't know how to do math. I know. 500, 4,700 plus 350 and miscellaneous fees. That's $5,050 divided by 70,000. That's 7.2%. So 7.2% so automatically gets tacked on to the price of my car. And that puts you into a negative equity situation. So that's one reason why so many people have negative equity because they don't put any money down and they're buying a vehicle and then they're tacking stuff on. So they're automatically $7,000, $6,000 negative equity. And they're like, well, the dealership must have screwed me over. I got 10 grand negative equity. No, you screwed yourself over. You you added money on to a depreciating asset. So that's why I always say 20% down. So that same... That same vehicle uh, at $70,000 times 0.20 is $14,000 down. So so that's 70,000 times 1.06, 70,000 times 1.06 plus 350 plus 500 is $75,050. So right there, your $5,000 negative equity. If you put $14,000 down, you're at 61,070. So right there, you're nine thousand dollars ahead of the game by putting twenty percent down. So, so that's why I do it. So that way, you can't control the market, right? We have to worry about this as well as the dealership. We can't control the market. If we trade for your car today, and GM puts a ten thousand dollar rebate on a car, we're screwed on that used car. We're stuck left selling it. We don't. We can't control the market. So now we we have to worry about that. So it's the same same thing with you. You don't control the market and you don't put any money down. It co- it's going to cost you. I just find it funny how you talk about the um, GM putting a rebate out or basically cheapening the new car. So therefore the used car market has to change. Yep. But yet if you look at Tesla used car market, everybody still thinks that their $150,000 vehicle is still worth 90 K when you can get brand new for a hundred Oh yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. You, you buy the most loaded up Tesla model X for 2021. You're about 110. No. Um, I, cause I had to double check somebody's math today. It's about 122. Okay. So, um, I found one today here in town that they're trying to sell for 118 on a 2020. 
that was originally 122. Okay. All right. And, and it's like. And so 2018. No. Let's, that, no let's go to 2018. Okay. Two years ago, that same Model X would have been. 143. At least. Probably close to 150. Actually, more because. Yeah, 150, 160 probably. A loaded up Model X is going to be a six-seater because yep. six-seater actually is more expensive than a seven-seater. Yep. Correct. So, so yeah, you're talking that car was 150, 155, 160, and now it's 120. So Tesla screwed over their owners by forty thousand dollars, forty grand in two years. Now, what do you think happened to that used car market? So, this car they're selling for how much? One eighteen. One eighteen. Why would I want to buy that car? I don't know because you pay four thousand dollars more, you can get it brand new you get with brand the new. with the more range because they just changed the battery. Yep. range again That's, on the car. Yep. Yep. So it's like, yeah, 260, why, 260, why 270 on that, no. on that car? No, it was, uh, well, they've changed it multiple times. So at 2020 approximately would have been 300 range. Okay. And now they're 321. And now they're 341. 341. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so that used vehicle has got a lot of things working against it. doesn't have the range, you know, so on and so forth. I can just spend a couple more thousand dollars. That range is kind of important on an electric car. 20 miles is 20 miles, right? So, um, so it's kind of, it's kind of important. So that's, that's just kind of a, a good look into, into it. So, um, we got about less than 15 minutes left. We're, we're going to stay on, we're going to stay on for two hours tonight. I like so. this, uh, rebuild and flip on credit reports. How bad does hospital bills look on there? But if everything else is good, what does what's it play on for a dealership? That's a tough one. I hear I hear a lot of different things on that. So the way I know I understand the way the credit bureau works. I understand how your credit score happens. And I understand when what enhanced what uh not enhanced, I don't want to say enhanced, um what model car dealerships pull for credit bureau. There's different models. Mortgage companies going to pour more of a, uh, on the curve of a mortgage and car and credit card and so on and so forth. And, um, so with that being said, they do hurt, but a lot of times banks don't look at them. It's really interesting. So behind the scenes, the banks have got their own lending practices. And I basically just call it an algorithm because everything's an algorithm, right? So, so the banks have got their, algorithm that they look at and their algorithm may not pull in those, those medical bills, right? Screw the hospitals. The hospitals is the worst game in the car business. The hospitals are absolute crooks and you have nothing to do with it. So you can't, you can't debate it. You can't negotiate it. Go in and try to negotiate a, a, a hospital bill. So I, we have an employee that was just dealing with cancer and, and his, he, he was making payments on the hospital bill and they sent him to collections and it dinged his credit. It's like, I'm making payments. Oh, you're not making them fast enough. I've been paying you once a month. Sorry. doesn't work that way. And they don't care. They simply don't care. This is a guy who had cancer and they don't care. Absolutely insane. No, because hospitals are all about the money. I mean, yeah. So it's big pharma and everybody yep. else. It's all about the money. Yep. So, so, uh, Rhoda asked any word on military pricing on C8s. Nope. Don't expect that. In Anytime soon, probably two or three years before you see any types of discounts on Corvettes. Um, it's really good for all of us, right? It's good for me. It's good for you. It's good for everybody. Um, but uh, 312 D-Man, uh, what's up, Mike? Good to see you. Been, been uh, Not been able to watch lately, but always great to see you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming in and doing it. Found my lease. <laughs> Turned in 2017 Silver. Listed for 30000 more than the deal I had when new crazy used car market right now is so crazy so so we oh, we mentioned it earlier and i thought she was talking about something else but i'm like i'm not spending 25 grand on a truck you know i'm gonna have to spend a lot more and um so the uh um you know it's like a twenty five thousand dollar truck right now is a hundred thousand mile truck three or four year old truck five year old truck hundred thousand miles it's 25 grand all day long crazy and no worries guys i uh blocked the guy Oh, that was there, trolling. There's a bad guy. <laughs> yeah, he was just making a lot of comments that oh, were well. 
See you later. Not needed. <clears throat> See you later. And stuff. So I blocked him. No worries there. But earlier, and we keep getting off topic, I had saw a question that I love. And the question is C seven Z O six or a Gen six Z L one. Ooh. Hmm. So Ooh, that's a good one. I would think Gen six and Gen the whole basis of the question was they're looking to add more horsepower to a vehicle and track it. So it depends on what you're going to, what type of track you're going to be doing. Yep. I think because if it's the straight line drag strip, the both both do good straight line, yeah. right? The Corvette's definitely circuit circuit court circuit course autocross. That the Z01 is not going to be able to keep up with the Corvette. Um, but at the same time, you know, you look at the Z01 one LE, what it did. So, you know, at the Nurburgring. ring. So, um, I don't think you can go bad either way. The Corvette's definitely going to get more looks and more talked about and stuff like that. More nostalgic, more hype than the Camaro. So, um, but yeah, the, I don't think you can go bad either way. They're both are great vehicles. Um, AC said, what Chevy dude, best selling vehicle at your dealership. What do you guys think it is? Put it in the comment section. We'll see. We'll see what everybody says. And then I'll, and then I'll, I'll tell you, uh, once I see a bunch of comments in the comment section, what do you think is the best selling vehicle at my dealership? What would, would like to buy a car from you? Uh, can you ship to Jersey ship all across the country? It's not a problem. So Chevy has got my schedule. When you're ready to buy, you just get on there, put a time on my schedule. I'll call you dead on. And uh, we'll get it done. So, okay. What's the best selling vehicle at my dealership? Let's go on to a couple other things right. before uh, that. Uh, somebody had a question about the a C eight deposit. Basically, if they have a C eight deposit with you, and then everything comes out for the Z six, they want to know: Do I go to the bottom of the line if I switch over, or do I get my place held? Uh, say that again. I was reading something. It is, is where they stand on the list for Z06 yeah. versus C8. So yeah, if yeah. they switch over to a Z06, it's, it's all the same. So, so it's time at, the, at the bottom, yeah, at the bottom of each one of those pages, own a C8.com, my Z06.com. Um, when you, when you go to the bottom, you'll see my public list and you'll see the dates, which is why I have the dates there. You can just look at that and be like, Oh, I would be 63 on this list or whatever the case may be. So, I don't really transfer anybody over the list are made up. They don't matter, but I have them separated so that I really, I'm not calling Z06 people and be like, yeah, I want a Z06. Yeah. I want a Z06. If you put it in a C8 deposit and I call you and be like, yeah, I want a Z06. Perfect. No problem. Um, but I don't want to waste, you know, I got over 200 people on the Z06 list. Now I don't want to call 200 people and be like, Nope, I want a Z06. Nope. I just put a Z06 now. It already happens enough on the C8 list, but, um, it, it, it's just me. There's nobody else working in car sales. I don't have any assistants. Um, I do everything on my own. And uh, so I'm just chop liver. Chop, I guess. chop liver. Um, so I just, uh, you quit on me. You haven't been back to the dealership <laughs> since March, you loser. So there's a pandemic going on. Oh, blame it on Corona. Everybody else does. I don't want to sit there in a mask all day. <laughs> so, um, so no. So it just, it just, it's, it just stays over. So it's all the same. Doesn't matter. Okay. And this last thing is kind of going back to our PS5, but somebody said they got a bunch of stuff online, but they were unable to do the free shipping. So let's talk about how you get the free shipping. Yes. So Because you did tell me that's a little, it's one of those they, things that I totally, you know, discount. Like when I'm going to look at a website and I get the little pop-up about the 30% off, whatever, I just uh, close it and then, you know, later it's like, oh, I kind of needed that. Yep. So, yeah. So uh, basically just put free. It's, it's a, you know, who, who doesn't put free in every coupon code that you can, right? So I made it obvious so that way it happens. But, uh, yeah, you got to use a coupon code free in order to get free shipping. And, and I've got that right on the, on the, uh, on the page right from the beginning. Um, but uh, I think a lot of people are, are doing exactly that. They are. Uh, skipping, uh, skipping over it and not, uh, not listening. I was going to try to, I was going to try to, uh, do a screen share here. I don't know if I can. Nope. That doesn't work either. I know I can screen share on this source video. 
Basically, just make sure you're putting a coupon code in yeah. there. <laughs> yeah. Didn't make it hard. Show. Secondary display. Let's see here. Nope, I don't know how to do it. 312 D Man says, I'd be the sexy one in there in the mask, making more people come in. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, mask hides so much. And it's kind of funny because we'll be messing around and, you know, it's like you have to smile with your eyes now and everything because you can't tell if somebody's smiling, if they're mad, you know, whatever. And it's, I don't know. I'm not a fan of everybody wearing masks. I really hope it doesn't continue, you know, years and years from now. Not the new, I don't want that to be the new normal. Yep. So, um, I come to this website all the time. Yep. There it goes. So see free shipping, enter your email. So when you enter your email, And this person said that uh, the discount. they got Ta-da, free and it tells you. So once you enter your email, um, you do that and you get the key code word free. But I try to tell everybody too. And uh, the person said they got an invalid or, you know, hmm, when they put it in. And then um, everybody was asking me this too. Uh, I think it was Rhonda or Rhoda. Rhoda, yes. Asked if uh, we have, if I got the C8 stuff. Uh, listed publicly, and I did. So when you go to ownac8.com or myz06.com, we scroll all the way to the bottom, and I have it right down here. So now you can see all these people on my Corvette list and Z06 list. I don't know why that picture is not popping up there. It's weird. That might be in my system. But uh, And then the Z06 tab is down there. And I did zip code, so that way you would be like, okay, well, I'm this guy, and this is my zip code, right? So that's how I did that there. So you can see this is this is their, when you see this stuff, this is not me, my typo right here. This is their typo. So um, so it's whatever you put in there. Oh, I had yes. people put Just in. Just blame everybody I'm else. Them. So, <laughs> but. Uh, we know you love typos. <laughs> yep. So uh, camera, there it is right. There we go. Perfect. I've never screen shared before on this, on this app. Interesting. But as long as I can do it. Kind of nice, but um, yeah. So, so it's whatever you typed into the system is what uh, what's going to be under. So, okay, um, we have somebody who is looking for a 2015 Silverado Z71 black, having a hard time finding it. Mm-hmm. Want to know? He wants to know if you can request a dealership to find it, or is there a better way to go about that? So let's just talk about dealerships. Doing, I don't know. What do you, what do you call that? Um, um, like kind of like a car finder service. Yeah. So here's here's the thing, dealerships right now are so busy that they're just trying to get low hanging fruit. They want the person that walks in and says, "This is what I want that car right over there," and they're like, "Okay, cool," and they and they write it up right. So so you, my friend, are out of luck, but. Uh, no dealership's going to ever help you find that. Maybe you'll get a one. Maybe you'll get one here there. But in a nutshell, you're wasting your time calling dealerships, going to them and saying, hey, I'm looking for this type of car. Um, me included, right? I'm not I'm not privileged or like, I'll call myself out. I don't have time to look for you for a car. Now, I'll take your name and number down and I'll put it on my list of what you're looking for. And I look at that for every single car I get in on trade and I'll let you know that I get something like that and let you know, but I'm not going to go out and find that car. So the reason why, again, low hanging fruit. And uh, so that, with that being said, um, dealerships are just going after that stuff and they're just not interested in doing it. But I will show you this. Look what I got right here. A 15 LTZ crew cab short box in stock at my dealership for 24000 993 and it has 154,000 miles on it. So if the mileage is uh, good for you, there it is. I got the truck. So just a matter of uh, if that works for you or not. So, but that, that's exactly what I was kind of talking about earlier. I said five year old truck, four or five year old truck, 100 plus thousand miles, 25 grand. So an LT truck, 
So I was kind of more thinking LT. I wasn't thinking LTZ. Uh, and LT Trek is going to be more along um, 70 to 100,000 miles. Matter of fact, there's, that's an LS. So that's an LS um, truck right next to it, as you see on the screen. Um, and, and my dealership prices are stuff dead on, right? So, ooh, that's a really good deal. That's, oh, that's a two-wheel drive. Double cat. Double <laughs> He's going to end up buying a truck <laughs> just uh, looking through it. Start stuff. super chatting now so I can buy a truck, please. <laughs> uh, t- uh, 2015 for twenty seven ninety five. dollars That's a pretty good deal. That's a double cab two-wheel drive. Though. I was like, wow, that's cheap. So uh, here's a 14, uh, 25 grand, 2LT, 115,000 miles. So uh, nice big dent on that one. Must be over at their body or commercial store. So, yeah, so that's kind of showing you. So there's a 17 double cab four-wheel drive work truck. That's a work truck. Wow. Uh, 52,000 miles for 27 grand. There's an LT two-wheel drive crew cab. There's a four-wheel drive LT for 32.9. There's a 17 LTZ. There's a 17 LTZ, 19,000 miles, $46,000. A three-year-old truck. It's absolutely insane. The uh, the, the used car market is just absolutely crazy. insane right now. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It is, but that's what it is. Okay. Um, this is an interesting question. If you register a white car, then wrap your car, do you have to register it again with the new color? Because your car is white, so um, not cha- not changing permanent color. Because I can change that. I can take that off tomorrow, as we saw when I when I uh, did it. But yeah, the uh, every everything out there, they don't put multicolor. <laughs> uh, as I found out <laughs> Chick- for Chick Fil A, and when you do drive up services, they, they don't like, put Chevy dude color. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hashtag moron paint job. One fifty four on a five year old truck. You keep clown. Getting, you're clown. always called yeah. a clown. All right, let's do two more, and then we'll be done for that. Oh, two for over more. Two hours. Um, well, AC asked, I think I missed it, but when does the 10X entries end? I haven't decided yet. So everything's going really, really well, and I want everybody to get as many opportunities as they can. Um, but uh, I, would, I would definitely get in sooner than later because um, um, I, do, I do have to stop it at, at one point, but I, I want to I get everybody to get as many points in. A lot of people told me not to do it this way. Um, they're like, no, 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 just started out single entries or five entries for every dollar they spend, not 10, not 10 entries, not 10 X entries. Um, but then Grant Cardone is a big mentor of mine and he does everything 10 X. And so I'm like, I'm doing 10 X and, and, uh, so I'm going all in. So, so yeah, so it's, uh, um, so that's why I did it, but, um, haven't decided on what day I'm going to stop it, but you know, I'll send out, I'm, I'm putting information out on every day. So um, I may do it the whole time. I don't know. It's, it's, it's my rules, my contest. There's nothing in there. There's nothing in the, in the, in the guidelines or the rules, um, of the, of the government that says that I can't give you 10 X entries. That doesn't, that doesn't change anything. Right. So the way the rules are, are done by States and federal, um, are not by how many entries you get. I can say uh, you can get 200 entries for every dollar you spend. Right. I can do whatever you want. I can do whatever I want there, but there's nothing fair and balanced on that. It's just about the physical giving it away. Uh, as long as I'm fully transparent on that, which you guys know I'm transparent on everything. Last question. Last question. I haven't found a good one. Oh, you haven't? No. Um, uh, I know. I was like trying to go back and forth between... Oh, John, John said something too, and you can find one. I forgot. I was going to say this. Um, he said, I would suggest if you're looking for trucks, you have to hit up all the areas where a lot of snowbird seasonal travelers vacation. That's a good, that's a good idea. Um, so, but also, I mean, you just need to do the search and car gurus, auto trader, true car, all that stuff. That's, um, that's, that's when that, that's just what you have to do. Um, Rocco says I'm number six on the Z06 list. It, why isn't my zip code showing on your list? It's four two one six four. I don't know. I don't know. I saw that. Oh, probably because I moved you over a long time ago, and um, I uh, let me let me see. If you're six on the list, you must have you obviously put a deposit down. So um, so that was when I originally just was like, okay, I'm putting these people over on the Z06 manually, um, and I was just I was just putting I was just putting it in there. Yeah, so. Yes. 
uh, Toulon's last name, right? Yeah. Um, so yes. So you are one of the people that, that you were on my original C8 list and I just moved you over and I literally just did your name, phone number, email address. Like I didn't put your, I don't have your address on there or anything. Um, cause I have it on, I have it somewhere. I have it saved somewhere else. Um, so I was like, I just, that was, that's way back in the day. So 12, 23, 19 was the first de- his deposit. The very first deposit was four thirteen nineteen on the Z06 list. So it's crazy. Okay. Crazy. Last now, question. Not last question. Oh. Basically, everybody's reminding us that you never answered what the best seller at your dealership was. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So that's where we're going to end this live stream with. Perfect. What is the best seller on the dealership lot? The la- best seller is going to be the Silverado. Silverado is our by far best seller. And I'll go one more. I was going to do this. I was going to, you know, like you guys know me. I, I never just give one thing and be done, right? Our second best seller would be the Equinox. Um, if you look, a good way to tell what sells a lot on a dealership slot is looking at their inventory of what they have in stock. So um, right now is kind of a bad thing to look at because inventory levels are, are really low um, across the nation. But like Silverados, um, I have sil- 75 uh, half tons three 2,500s and four 3,500s. I usually have about 275 1,500s, um, about 10 and 10 on 25 and 3,500, so 20 of the HD trucks. Um, Equinoxes, I got 58 right now. I usually have about 100, 110 is usually where I max out at. Um, Colorado's, we got 12, Bolt EVs, Blazers, uh, 8 and 17 respectively. So that's uh, tracks 25 to 30 Traverse, 20 Trailblazers, 21 Tahoes, 19 Sparks. Um, so that's kind of that's kind of what we sell the most of. But but Silverado is the number one by far, and that's that's number one for Chevy in general is the Silverado. We sell more Silverados than anything else out there. So uh, with that being said, we really appreciate you guys being here. It's hard to say do an outro, right? We don't do outros. No, anymore. there's no outro. <laughs> we just end it right. It's like, hey. Goodbye. No. Yep. <laughs> but basically, I finally got him back on live streaming. Yes. And if you guys enjoyed this, we might come back again. I've been trying to talk him into doing more, but, you know, I don't know what his deal is. Yep. Absolutely. We just got to <laughs> get it done. So uh, get your 10X entries, ChevyDudeStore.com. Get your PS5. It's right here unopened. I'm telling you, I want to open this thing and play. Like, I just want to play Fortnite or something on it. Like, Play Madden. <laughs> I love this. I don't know what's going on, but somebody keeps saying we need mask and yeah. that we should be six feet apart. First off, we are at least about, six feet six apart, feet. but we live together and sleep in the same bed. Yeah. So and and John and John said that we're in our house. <laughs> we yeah. are. We're in our house. We have a recording I, studio here. Exactly. I'm not going to stay six feet apart. I don't want you to sleep in my bed tonight, guys. Thanks. <laughs> have a great day. Good night.